Hello all. We are going to learn about setting up and generating Jenkins report. We will generate the Jenkins report for the local project that we run in Jenkins as well as the project from GitHub which we run in Jenkins. And we are going to see two types of reports. One is Jenkins inbuilt reports and the another one is with the plugin. We are going to install test report analyzer. Let's learn how to check reports in Jenkins. To start Jenkins, go to your C drive program files and Jenkins folder and enter CMD and press enter. This will open the command prompt and the folder of Jenkins in your command prompt. Give java-jar jenkins.war command and press enter. Once Jenkins is started, it shows the message Jenkins is fully up and running. Then go to your browser and enter localhost colon and your port number for Jenkins server and enter your username and password to log into Jenkins. In Jenkins, I have set up for Jenkins and Git integrated project and the normal project. First, we will go into the normal project configuration. In the configuration, you can see that this is the normal project and not the GitHub project setup. So down here you can see the commands given for the project execution and for report purpose we have to go to in the general tab and in advanced you have to click this checkbox use custom web space and give the directory path of your project from your local drive. You can give the project name which is there over here as a display name. Then down here after build, you find the post build actions. In the post build actions, click on add post build action and select publish J unit test result report. And in the test report XML text box, we have to give the report folder path. So which folder path we are going to give? We are going to give the reports folder path for this project. In my reports folder, I am in my reports folder in the file explorer and in the reports folder, I will, if I will click on one of the report, it has the folder name by the date and after that, it includes the test suit name folder. Inside the test suit name folder, there is one more date folder. And inside that date folder, you will find the junitreport.xml. So this is our complete path of the reports. And we have already given this path in the above directory. So we have to provide this path over here in the test report.xml. But for giving this path, we have to reverse this slash. We have to change the slash between the folder names. And this, the date and time of the folder is going to change. So for that, I will give star over here the test suit name may also change so i will give star over here and another folder of date may also change so i will give one more star over here and i will give slash and will enter the j unit report dot xml now we will apply this all the errors have gone it has saved. Click on save. If I build it now, we will be able to see the reports for that execution. So I have clicked on build and the execution is started. 
we will go to console output the execution has finished and if you see down here it has recorded the test result we will go back to the test project and here we will check the latest test result click on latest test result and click on root then in the test cases cura help and you will find the output as this it has shown the test steps and if you go back it has shown the duration for, for the execution and the status if you go back again you will find the duration how many are failed how many are skipped and how many are passed test cases and what is the total number of test cases which we have executed again if you go back to the root folder it will show you the same output this way you generate the reports for the execution of local projects which is configured in jenkins now let's see how to configure the github project in jenkins this is my git and github integrated jenkins project so i will go to this project configuration and in the configuration of this github project i will click on advanced button in the general tab and in the use custom web spaces i will give the git directory path of my local machine to this workspace wherein my git project has been configured i have shared the tutorials for github repository creation how to clone the project with github repository how to set up and install git on your machine and work on your project using git and i have also shared the tutorials on setting up jenkins for your local projects as well as your github projects I have shared the links below in the description for all these tutorials please go through these tutorials now after giving the custom web space we will go down and in the post build actions i will provide the test report xml as reports folder then slash the year that is 2020 and star then the test suit name i assume that my test suit name always start with test and then i provide this star and after that i will provide the year again as the folder contains the date and the time and i will provide this star and after that i will give the junit underscore report dot xml this way i have given this path for test report xml for the build having the github project i will apply this and save this we will build it now to check the report after execution in the console output once the execution is done we will be able to see the report the execution is done successfully and it has recorded the test results you can see over here that it has recorded the test results let's go and check the results we can check the results in the latest test result you can find the duration of this test execution was 1 minute 14 seconds one out of one has been executed and total pass is one inside you can see the test case related information this way you can generate the reports in jenkins now let's see the test analyzer reports these are in the graphical form and not just in the graphical but can produce the detailed written reports it gives the great visibility on test results and execution trend pattern so let's go to manage jenkins in manage jenkins go to manage plugins and in manage plugins go to available tab in available tab enter test analyzer you will find the test analyzer plugin over here click on check box and 
click on install without restart button it has done the installation click on go back to the top page once we have installed test analyzer plugin go to the project folder in your jenkins and here you will find the test result analyzer link click on that link and you will find the detailed tabular report you can download that report as well you find the options if you want the report for all builds you can click this checkbox if you want for particular builds you can enter the number if you click on this plus sign of the root you will find the test case and its details over here it shows the build wise status that 15th and 14th build are passed and 13 and below no status because we we have set up the reports after that so that's why the other builds are showing as na if you go down you will find the different types of graph you will be able to see here and since we have generated only one test suit for one test case, we are able to see this kind of report. But once you actually work on project and build a test suit having multiple test cases in it, and when you execute multiple test suits or a collection of test suits, then you will find this report more important and more interesting and more useful this was about jenkins reports if you face any issues related to these reports delete the earlier reports from the reports folder that is this folder of your project whichever project path you are giving in the configuration go to that path in your project file explorer and go to the reports folder and delete all these reports then you will be able to work on these reports and the errors will be removed if you are new to this channel and would like to learn catalon studio from beginning to advance please click subscribe button and bell icon below this video thank you